Hey guys, what's up in this video? I want to talk about the MediaTek 2014 roadmap, which is leaked. And this roadmap shows us some new processors. So MediaTek product roadmap spanning the period between the Q3 2013 and Q2 2015 actually, which is leaked online. As expected, it's full of nice surprises. And the most interesting addition to the Taiwanese Silicon Slingers lineup will be a six core uh, hexa core and two powerful octa core chipset uh, here what's in tow first is the mt6591 six cores of unspecified architecture running at 1.5 gigahertz sporting for up to 1080p hd display and tds uh, scdma and wcdma networks it's prime for q1 to 2014 which means the ship uh, chip should be officially announced by april the another one is the MT6595, the 8 heterogeneous core of unspecified architecture in a big little arrangement. Uh, the lower powered cores are clocked to 2.2 GHz and the higher power cores are clocked to 2.5 GHz. The chipset will support up to 20 MHz image signal processing, 4K 30 frames per second video and up to WQX VGA, uh, WQX GA display uh, resolution which is 1600 by 2560 and and networking support is LTE Category 4 and HSPA Plus. The chipset is coming in early Q3 2014, which could mean an announcement sometime in September where iPhones are released. The other chipset is called as the MT6752. This will be the MediaTek's first 64-bit octa-core CPU. Its reveal was expected for this year MWC, however the company announced only the 64-bit quad-core MT6732. The MT6752 MT6 features a true octa-core processing with 8 core, uh, eight Cortex-A53 64-bit cores clocked at 1.7 GHz, up to 16 megapixel image signal processing, up to 1080p 30 frame per second video and display resolution, and LTE category 4 with HSPA plus port. Both chips are pin-to-pin -pin compatible which makes the MT6752 something of a drop-in replacement for the MT6732 uh, for manufacturers which was a quad-core 64-bit processor. So this 64-bit octa-core SOC is primed for middle of Q4 2014 which probably means a mid-November announcement and early 2015 manufacturing phase. So this is the full info about their processor these processors will be available this year and some will be available at the start of 2015 so this is actually officially leaked so yes thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this video like this video and subscribe for daily tech videos comparison news reviews and more and i will see you in the next one peace out